Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for not posting, but today we're going to be playing some Adopt Me. So I'm going to be showing you guys some new Halloween updates and some small tips on how to get lots of bucks. Let's go. By the way guys, I'm super excited for the new pet and I'm so close to getting my rocket racer. I am so happy. So, ooh, see this is a mini game. So first you have to teleport here. So one of the methods that you can get lots of candy is by surviving this um, mini game. There are two mini games so far. There's probably gonna be three mini games. So we're just going to wait in the queue and wait until, yeah, and I'll show you guys how to play it. Just wait. Okay, so just show, if you're not good at this, it's okay, I'll just show you what to do. So the evil unicorn will actually try to eat you out of the game. Just watch, just watch. Okay, so you have to jump, you have to stand on these little islands and whatever the chick dress says. But if the evil unicorn, they'll eat you off in any one of the lands you stand on. So you, these will explode, the wrong ones will explode and you jump back onto this platform. And then for this one, you just have to go over here. As long as what they say what they say, you have to do it, because otherwise you get eliminated from the game and this blue stuff, whatever that is. You can earn about 3,300 candies. And for the evil unicorn, this is what I'm going to show you guys. This is the reason why I get eliminated so much. Let's see. Yeah, this is the reason. Reasons are reasons. This is so us. How do people even survive in there? What? How? How? I don't understand. He's so good, pro. Well, that's my friend. That's my friend, by the way. That's my friend. The girl named Bubbles is my friend. Let's just stop specitating. Let's go. Anyways, this is one of the methods. You can get lots of candy. The second method is by surviving tile skip. This one, right here. Next game in eight minutes, so you have to wait, they will give you a notification. This is the second method you can get. If you survive the entire thing and pass the uh, mini game and walk through the tiles within the uh, time that they give you, you will get 3,000 candies. But for the other one, you can get 3,300 candies if you survive all eight rounds. As you can see, I got very little candy. So let's check out some of the new things. This is coming tomorrow. I am so excited. This is coming literally tomorrow. So I'm just jumping like crazy because like, yeah, this is so crazy. I actually know what these pets are. This is like a legendary, I think. This is a rare, this should be an ultra rare. I have no clue. Um, and this is the box thingy, the chest. This will cost 14,000 candies, I think. I think, I think that's what they say. People say the sneak peek, the pets. Ooh, what's this? This is also coming tomorrow. This hand thingy and this super weird Oh, I think this is cost for Robux. I think this is for Robux. So the third method is by buying candies. As you can see, there are many different options. Depends on how much Robux you have, you can buy the amount of candies. For this one, you only cost seven Robux. As you can see, I have enough to buy it, but I don't want to because I'm saving it for Christmas and I'll get 400 again, so I get 420. So I'm going to show you guys the fourth method of getting candies. Just watch. So the fourth method is actually a new way to do it. So if you teleport outside your house, you will see that there is these little jet, little pumpkin baskets and inside there's candy you can collect. So I'll show you. This is one example. You get 15 candies per house and I'm taking them these candies. I don't know how these candies are here, but I think it's just random. I think the server gave it out. As you can see, you can collect lots of them. I think you collect around 50 a day. I'm not very really sure around there. You can get lots of these. If you collect these every day, you'll be super rich in the end. And using these other four methods. As
As you can see, I'm going around the whole neighborhood just to get it. This is so fun. You can get lots of candies. You can see that, right? Did you see that? Yeah, I bet you saw that. This will take some time. But if you want to be rich and you want to have candies, go ahead and do this. It's a great way to get candies, and it's for free. So people without Robux, if you're listening, you don't have to do the third method. You can just do the first, the second, and the fourth method. And you will also get lots and lots and lots of candies. The neighborhood is super big, so to be honest, I need to go around one whole round, and it's going to take some time. Uh, there's an igloo house right here. Oh, ow. Okay. Ooh, we have some more candy. I like how they have this new update. What, more candy? Oh my god, that is lucky. Lucky kid. I'm just gonna take their candy away. Cause he he he, you never know. I'm collecting so much candy. Oh wait, what, there's more candy right here. No, wait, did I collect the candy? Okay, I did, I did, I did. I am so rich. Yay. I'm not the most richest person, but I am pretty good. I have a really good amount of candy. Let me set. So, these are the four methods that you can use to actually uh, get lots of candy. Well, if you're patient enough and... You know, you really want to save up for something, then that's good. I'm just saving up for no reason because I'm scared that next time I do something I really, really want and then I don't have enough candies for it, then I save up for days and then end up the Halloween update's over. The Halloween update's gonna end in 15 days, as you can see. And I am super excited for the Christmas update because I have no clue what the Christmas update's going to be because last year's Christmas was super good. I'm just going to take out one of the toys for Christmas. Let me see if I have one. No, I don't have it. I don't think I have it. I traded it away, I'm so sad. No, I can't trade it all. No, there's nothing here. By the way, this is like a toy from 2019 or 2020, I have no idea. A huggable pillow. It's one of the old toys that I still have. It's a really cute pillow, actually. I mean, to be honest, yeah. And I think it's Culver Balloon, too. I have no idea. Oh, and there's one of this really, really old toy. I don't know, like this soccer ball. That, I don't think I have it now, but I do have this mermaid propeller I got from the Star Rewards. It's so big. It's, it's, it's almost gonna, like, poke my house. Oh my god, whoa. So this is a hack I actually saw on YouTube. Um, so if you watch your pet, and then you take out a propeller, this thing is like my new favorite propeller, I have no clue. So now you have to fly it. It doesn't work. Why is it not working? It's not working. Guys, she was literally flying in the air. How can this be impossible? It's not working. Fake guys, don't try it. But I'm gonna show you a real hack. Come with me. That's a fake one, do not fall for it. I watched on YouTube, it was actually real for them. It's, maybe it just doesn't work for me, or maybe it's just actually fake. I will show you guys another hack. So if you come to the playground, and everybody has seen the swing before, right? And you may, might be wondering, what is it doing here? This is actually a way that you can actually fly. Wait, hold on. Let me just unequip my pet. So first, you have to sit on the swing. Click on the dress up. I think a skeleton should be good. Wait, you need to get a balloon first. I'm gonna show. Balloon, hmm. Which balloon am I interested? This one, pretty balloon. Now, click on your avatar, and I am going to go, maybe this lucky skeleton outfit. See, you go up, you go up. This is a real hack, by the way. So, you go down, yep. 
Okay, I don't want to dress up so ridiculously, so let's just move it. Uh, oh my god, I don't even care what I'm going to wear. Like, I have no idea. Oh, what? I changed my outfit. I, I, I don't even care. Like, um, which one is it? Yeah, okay. Got the right one. Neon Fly by Uni. Neon Fly by Uni. Okay. What's that? Oh, it's Golden Dragon. Okay. I'll show you how, guys, how to play Tile Skip. If you guys are bad at it, just watch. It's pretty easy, actually. Just watch this video, and you will know how to do it. It's super easy peasy. I used to be bad at it, too, but now I'm good at it. Yay. Sometimes tiles just vanish off on its own. So you have to be really, really careful for what you pick. Because sometimes it just doesn't work. So you see, you have to be super careful. You never know what it's going to do. So let's go over there. So you have to wait for people to like test it. And it has similar patterns to each other. And oh, I fell Okay, this is some of the reasons why people hate this game and they end up leaving. It's actually really, really easy. You can get just 3,000 candies easily within this time. Oh, I fell. I hate how I just fall like that. Like, fall. First face fall. And look at that. I'm first place. Say, slay. Yay, we got 41,200 and... 55 candies. See, I told you, you can get lots of candies. Yeah, it's, it's a smart method, though. It's a very, very smart method. And that is all for today's video. If you like today's video, just like, subscribe, comment down below your so far favorite Halloween pet. Let me know. And until then, see you guys later. Goodbye.